Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome to my guest post for the Ellen Hudson Classroom. Uh, today I'm going to be working with some Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft products, specifically some gelatos and some Stampers Big Brush Pens. The first thing I'm going to do is take this Hero Arts Everything Flowers background stamp. I'm going to ink it up with some Versamark ink and stamp it onto some Nina Solar White cardstock. I'm going to use some black embossing powder, just sprinkle it on and then I'm going to heat it to set it. I also heat the back of the paper to avoid some warping. Alright, I'm going to show you my first flower which is uh, blues. The first one is a metallic blue gelato. It's kind of like a chapstick and uh, I just mush it on in the center of the flower and I take my finger and I rub it um, into the paper and then out toward the edge of the flower and I'm kind of going for a little bit darker in the middle and lighter on the outside but I definitely want to get good coverage all over the entire flower because when I apply the pens I'm going to need that base of gelato. Alright now starting with the pens oh as you can see it wipes off really easy with a baby wipe because it's water soluble. Alright so this blue pen matches my uh, metallic gelato and I'm just going to color a little dot in the center and I'm going to use my finger to kind of wipe it out toward the outer edge of the petal and I'm going to do this on all of the petals it kind of adds a little bit of a design to a petal and then also some dimension because I'm making it a little bit darker in the center And you can make this, uh, you can wipe it very lightly so that you get more of a darker line on your flower or you can really push your finger down to spread it out and really um, absorb it into the paper. All right, I'm speeding this up because I'm going to do this with all these different petals here. Now the base of the gelato allows the marker to glide on top of it um, and that's why you're able to blend it and that's also why you want to make sure that you get a good base foundation of the gelato underneath because if the marker hits the paper, the raw paper without gelato on top, it's not going to blend as nice or at all really. Um, so I went back in with my blue marker to add a little bit more darker spots. I'm not going to blend them out like I did the other ones as much. I'm going to have those more in the center. All right, now I'm going to take this um, white pen, which is um, opaque, and I'm going to add a little dot on the edge. So I'm going to work in the opposite direction. So I'm going to put a dot on the edge. I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to wipe it towards the um, inside of the flower. Now you want to wipe it as soon as you put the dot on there because it does start to dry a little bit, so you don't want to get it, that circle. Um, you can repeat this multiple times if you want to get a little bit more white in your flower. Um, and you can just rub it lightly with your finger to get more of a streaky look with the white. Or you can um, apply a little bit more pressure to get more of an even blended look with the white. I'm kind of mixing it up so it doesn't all look the same. I'm speeding it up so uh, because I'm doing all these petals here. All right, now that's it for my blue flowers. Now I'm going to start working on the greens, and the same thing, I'm going to have three different pens here. I've got the gelato and then the two big brush pens. Um, I'm going to start with my metallic green, and you can see it's a chapstick. I'm just going to roll it on the bottom just like you would a chapstick. Um, and I'm going to color the inside really with a thick layer of gelato. and the uh, embossed areas are going to resist it. I'm going to rub th that the same way I did with the blue, so I'm going to have it a little bit darker in the center, and I'm going to push that gelato out toward the edge of the flower.
All right, now I've got my matching green marker. And again, I'm going to just apply a little bit to the center, and then I'm going to push it out with my finger. And these markers just glide right on top of your gelato. Now notice I'm not going to do every single one of these little petals. I'm just spreading it out a little bit so it doesn't look so uniform. I'm speeding it up while I do this. Now my second round around the flower, I'm just pushing it out um, not very far, like maybe one third of the way out of the petal. And that way it gets a little bit more dimension, a little darker in the center. Same thing here with the white, just a dot on the edge and I'm working opposite of what I did with the green pen. Sorry my thumb is in the way here, it's hard to see um, where I'm putting dots and um, applying them toward the center, but that's what I'm doing. Same thing I did with the blue. So as you can see the result is not a very uniform um, spreading out of color, which is the way you want it. Alright, this is a butterscotch gelato and I'm just going to apply some in the middle there and again the same technique, just use my finger um, to spread it to the edges. And this is another big brush pen. I believe it's called Flesh. I'll have to go and look and we'll, we'll post that. And I'm just going to do the lower left hand side of the, the center and spread it out to the middle. And then I'm going to dot, dot it with the white and just dab it with my finger. So I'm not going to uh, wipe it one way or the other. I'm just going to dab it with my finger. And that way you get a little bit of a light reflection and then some perspective in the lower left hand corner. Alright, so I'm going to do the same process. There are three green flowers, so I'm going to do this three times, and I'm going to do it once more and a half, I believe, with the blue flowers. Alright, now when I'm all done, um, I decided to add a little bit of white to the center of these blue flowers. I love this pen. It's a very thick pen and it's opaque. Um, so you can't really see through it. So I'm just dabbing it right there in the center. And I'm going to let that dry. Okay, so I decided to break this background piece up a little bit just to add a little bit of interest. And as you can see, it's four inches. And each one of my strips is going to be a inch and a quarter. And then I'm going to mark one eighth past that. And that's how I'm going to cut that second middle piece. So I'm going to measure um, one and a quarter again from the right side and then one eighth. And now I'm just going to use my paper trimmer to cut all four of those lines. Okay, and I've got a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half inch cardstock that I'm going to apply these strips to. All right, now for my sentiment, I'm using the Paper Smooches Sentiment Sampler, which has some great sentiments on it. Um, and I uh, black embossed on a piece of vellum, so you can see it kind of is raised up a little bit and shiny, because I wanted to still see the background. So I'm placing my vellum where I'm going to put it, and I'm marking some dots there. And I'm going to take some glue dots, and I'm going to roll each glue dot. Actually, I'm going to use a paper piercer to get it off there. And I'm going to roll it into a ball before I stick it on my vellum. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to put some gems on top of that. Now I wanted one in the middle to stick it down, so I took it and I rolled it into a snake, and then I put it right behind the T in the word just, so you couldn't see it. Just going to place it on there and trim off the excess. Well, I'm going to put my gems on first, just some black ones, right on top of this glue dot so you don't see them. And then finally, I'm going to adhere this to a piece of you know, solar white folded cardstock, which is what I normally use for my card base. And that's it. That's your finished card. Hope you enjoyed it. And you can go to my blog, DarleneDesign.com, for more videos. Have a great week.